in Sitam Thika Road, where Christ is the answer. At that time again, we meet, share and interact. My name is Pamina Skariuki. Welcome to Sitam Thika Road Devotions. Today, we are going to share on a topic, do not despair. Do not despair in any situation. Do not despair regardless of the circumstances that you are in because the Lord will never leave you nor forsake you. To help us understand this, we are going to read from the book of Exodus in chapter 14 from verses, 20, uh, verses 10 to verses uh, 14. And this is what the Bible says. I will read from the NIV version. As Pharaoh approached, the Israelites looked up and, they were, and there were the Egyptians marching after them. They were terrified and cried out of the, uh, to the Lord. They said to Moses, Was it because there was no graves in Egypt that you brought us to the desert to die? What have you done to us by bringing us out of Egypt? Didn't we say to you in Egypt, Leave us alone, let us serve the Egyptians. Uh, it would have been better for us to serve the Egyptians than to die in the desert. Then Moses answered the people, Do not be afraid. Stand firm, and you will see the deliverance of the Lord, who will uh, the deliverance of the Lord will bring you today. The Egyptians you see today, you will see them. Uh, you see, you never see them again. The Lord will fight for you, and you will need only to be still. Brethren and friends, many are the times that we ha we, we tend to get worried about the situations that we are in. The situations could be dire that we are not seeing any hope of rescue from anybody. When you hear the stories going around the situations that we are in, specifically in this time that we are going through a pandemic, this is the time that you, are, you, you may have reached a point and you are wondering, will I be able to overcome this situation? Will I be able to go through this situation? But as this, this was the same that was going through the Israel, the, the, the minds of the children of Israel. After they had been delivered from the Egyptian, and the Lord had already taken them out of the Egyptian captivity, they went and saw the Egyptians following them. Because the Bible says the Lord had hardened Pharaoh, and he could not give up on them. He actually thought after they had, he had already released them, that I have lost my best man, uh, manpower. So he went after them and when the Israelites saw the, 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 the 600 uh, uh, horses running after them because they wanted to cap recapture them again to the captivity, they were stranded, they were worried and the only thing they could do was to despair and start complaining to Moses. And the Bible tells me that as they started to, uh, to complain to Moses, they even asked him, was it, uh, were there no graves in Egypt? For them, the Israelites were seeing a future of a death in the, in, uh, in, in, the, in the desert. They would see these people were here to just kill us and finish us. But the Bible is very clear that these people, regardless of their complaint to Moses, he was not moved, he was not shaken, because he knew that the Lord who had taken them out of captivity would be still the Lord who will go with them. Many are the situations that will come and affect us as a human beings. Maybe in your job you got lost your uh, you lost your job your business did not, is not working out well and you have reached that point that you feel oh god why did you even let me resign from my job why did you even let me get the job in the first place is it that you wanted to finish me with this is it because you wanted me to suffer with my family the bible is encouraging me from what moses said moses said in the verse 13 uh, do not be afraid, stand firm, and you will see the deliverance of the Lord, the Lord will bring to you today. The Egyptians you see today, you will see, you never see them again. As the Israelites were seeing, what the Israelites were seeing, the Israelites were seeing the enemy coming to finish them, the enemy coming to destroy them, the enemy taking away what they had already carried away from Egypt, the enemy was there to harm them. The situation that they were in, they were in 
a desert where they could not run away to the east or to the west because the enemies were focusing on them. And when they looked ahead, they would see the Red Sea was waiting for them to swallow them. And the Bible tells me these people were agitated. These people were fearful. These people were complainant. These people were actually wondering why would God do this for us. But the Bible tells me that all this, when they told Moses, why did you bring us out of Egypt? Would you not have allowed us to continue? The Lord has already taken you from your captivity and he is ready to take you to the promised land. But the problem with us as human beings is that we, before we get to the promised land, we forget it is not going to be a walk in the park. We have to face the Egyptians chasing us. We have to face our, our enemies chasing us. But when we realize that it is not just for the swift, the race is not for the swift, or is it for those who are be the best competent? It is for those who trust in their Lord. This is what the Egyptians had, uh, the Israelites had forgotten. That the journey they were going towards the promised land, it was not the idea of Moses. It was not their own personal idea. It was the idea of God. If you are in the purposes and the plans of God, my friends, I want to encourage us this day that it is the high time we realize that the God who called us to go forth to that promised land will be there to fight for us, will be there to stand with us. And as Moses said, these are the ones I want to encourage us. Even in the COVID-19 pandemic, I want to encourage you, friends, as Moses said to the Israelites, do not be afraid, stand firm, and you'll see the deliverance of the Lord. The other day, the bishops preached about the different seasons that are going to be at the times and the tribulations that the people are going to face. Let me tell you, it will reach a hard time where we'll be looking at the front, the enemy is there. When you look at the back, the enemy is there. When you look at the size, the enemies are there. But when you trust in the Lord who called us for the call that he has put in us, he is able to deliver us. And the only thing we need is to remain strong in the faith in our God. And when you remain strong in the faith in our God, we stand firm and you will see the deliverance of the Lord. And the Egyptians that you see today, you will see them no more. The enemies who are laughing at you, the people who are discouraging you, the enemies who are trying to pull you down, you will see them no more. For the Lord will take hold of your hand and he is going to spearhead your journey and you are going to the promised land, not because of your might, not because of your power, but because of his spirit. Our theme this year has been, give me this mountain. You had prayed, you have been praying for the mountain of God, the mountain of success in your business, the mountain of success in your, in, in your job place, the mountain of success in your children and your family. But you have reached a point because of the current situation. You feel like you cannot go on. I am here to encourage you, friends. Push on because the Lord who began the good work in you is able to bring it into accomplishment. It doesn't matter the situation. The God of the situation will always overcome. It doesn't matter the problem that you are going through. Remember he overcame on the cross when they wanted to show him that he was not powerless. Jesus Jesus did not fight back because he knew the purpose for his journey was to bring deliverance to the people. The purpose you have in your life will come to be pro to achievement because the Lord is the one who is taking care of you. Therefore, do not be afraid. Stand firm in your faith. Stand strong. Do not despair because the Lord is your God. In the time of need, in the times of plenty, he shall remain to be your God. And at this time, friends, I want to encourage us, arise from the complaining tongues, arise from the doubting, uh, the doubting, the doubting, being doubting Thomases about what God can do and see how much he has done and how much he is about to do. When you see how much he has done and how you'll be able to see how much he can do. But if you always complain of how much he has not done, you will not be able to see how much he is able to do because
because his purposes in our, in our lives are to make us succeed because Jeremiah 29 11 says I have good plans for you plans to prosper you and not more for evil this is the Lord saying this to the children of Israel the Lord who has spoken to us this morning is encouraging us stand up be a strong do not be afraid for the Egyptians you see today you will see them no more friends allow me to stop at that and ask us to make a short prayer even as we finish this devotion father in jesus name we thank you this morning we thank you this afternoon we thank you this evening because this is what the bible has told us that you are the god in the morning the god in the afternoon the god in the evening you change us not my god and my father you have reminded us as you are able to, to fight for the children of israel through the strength that you gave moses to understand the times and the season it was not time to despair but it was time to stand on his ground knowing that the God who had delivered them from the Egyptians is not going to allow them to be taken back to captivity my father my God every person who is watching and listening here may have gone through a tough time in this situation but I am here to declare in the name of the Lord that you called us for a greater purpose you are going to fulfill your purposes in our life we shall no longer be stranded we shall no longer give up because the God who took us from the Egyptians is able to make us see those Egyptians no more and take us to the promised land of God. Strengthen our faith, strengthen our power, the, the, the trust in you. For we pray this, trusting and believing in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.